So today I'm talking about a P0498 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0498 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system vent valve control circuit low. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to be burnt away so they don't escape into the atmosphere. There can be differences in how an EVAP system is designed. Components can be named differently. They'll be located differently and things like this. But real basically how these systems work is that the gas vapors, they're going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called the charcoal canister, which is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. Either built into the charcoal canister or located right next to it is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. It's a normally open valve, which means when there's no power going to it, it's going to be open. But then when power does go to it, it's going to close. And the reason the vent valve is normally open and venting air to the outside is that when you go to fill up the gas tank with gas at the gas station, gas is going to pour into the gas tank and it's going to push all those gas vapors towards the evap system when this happens if those gas vapors don't have no place to go it can overload the whole system and so that this doesn't happen the gas vapors are going to go through the charcoal canister which is full of a bunch of little charcoal pellets and they're going to filter through that and then they're going to go out the vent valve a common thing that happens with these vent valves is that they get stuck shut and if they're not open when you go to fill up the gas tank the nozzle will keep clicking off and this is because all those gas vapors they don't have no place to go and they're trying to come back out the filler neck where you're filling up the gas. And the computer also closes the vent valve and then tests the system to see if it's holding pressure and things like this. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up into the engine compartment. And up inside the engine compartment is going to be what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically just stays shut when the engine's not running. So the gas vapors don't escape and flood into the engine. But then when the engine is running, at some point, the computer is going to open the purge valve and the gas vapors are going to the engine to be burnt away. And so again, that's a real basic overview of what's going on with the EVAP system. If you do go to work on your EVAP system, be sure you get a diagram for your specific vehicle. And when you get this P0498 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this vent valve. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0498 code? One of the main things that's going to cause this is either that vent valve's gone bad, it needs to be replaced, or the wiring going to it. These vent valves can be built into the charcoal canister. This is very common. Quite often they're built into it. But they can also be separate, but they will be mounted very close to the charcoal canister. And this charcoal canister and vent valve, they're all going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And again, it can vary slightly, but they will be up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And again, these systems can be designed differently. Toyotas very commonly have what's called a leak detection pump, and the vent valve is built into the leak detection pump, or it's a part of it which is this thing right here. So again, these things can be named differently, but if you have a Toyota, it's located up inside this leak detection pump. And so there's gonna be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And the first thing to do is go check for any blowing fuses. It can be confusing which fuse this is on and what's going on with it. And it can really vary between vehicles, manufacturers, things like this. So for this reason, getting wiring schematics for your particular vehicle can be very beneficial because it'll show you which fuse it's on and what's going on with it. Of course, the wiring schematics will also show you which wires are going where and what's doing what. But it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses. Also, these vent valves are just a normally open solenoid. So if you have a multimeter, you can't test the windings in there for continuity. And check to see if there's an open. You can also look up what the rated ohms are supposed to be for that solenoid and see if it matches that range. So you can't test that vent valve. Since it's a normally open valve, if you could blow through it when there's no power going through it, but then you apply power to it, and you can't blow through it, then that's another method that some people use to test it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, it might have an option in there that you could send a signal to it to open and shut. Of course, if there's an issue on the wiring, that might not work, but there's some different ways to go about testing that vent valve. And of course, if there's any problem inside the wiring, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection in there somewhere, then that's gonna cause problems. The computer usually controls these vent valves by sending 12 volts to them. So if you have a good OBD2 scan tool and you send it a signal to open, the wires should have 12 volts going to it. Of course, if you have a wiring schematic, you can also go through and check for an open or a short or anything like this. But the main things that's going to cause this is either that vent valve's gone bad or there's some kind of issue going on in the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the charcoal canister. It got damaged for some reason. It got all clogged up or something like this. Basically, it's just stopping that vent valve from working correctly. A lot of people, when they know they have a bad vent valve, if it is built into the charcoal canister, they just go ahead and replace the whole charcoal canister. But you can do some research on your particular vehicle, and you might be able to get that vent valve separate from the charcoal canister. Although sometimes this can be kind of hard to do. 
But since a bad charcoal canister can affect that vent valve, a lot of people, if it is built into it, they'll just go ahead and replace the whole thing. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad charcoal canister. And it is possible that there's some kind of other issue going on inside the EVAP system that's causing that vent valve not to work correctly. And this would be something like a bad gas cap. There's a leak somewhere in the system, like a leaky hose, a bad purge valve, or a bad pressure sensor, or something like that, because these are all a part of the EVAP system. But usually if that happens, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0441 evaporative emission system incorrect purge flow, then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out that purge valve. Or if you also got like a P0453 evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch high, then in that case, it's a good idea to go test that pressure sensor because there might be some kind of issue going on with it. So while it is possible there's some kind of other issue going on inside the system, stopping that vent valve from working correctly, usually when that happens, you're going to get another code. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0498 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.